All right, so right now I have something that looks a lot like this, okay? Also, before we get started, I want to develop all the parts. So if you go back to step two, we can now develop the bottom and top parts. And that way we have a form to follow inside ZBrush to retopologize on. So here's the bottom jaw. And here's my parts all lined up. What I'm going to do is just use... Uh, this form right here as a backing for my silhouette okay and all I do here is I can clone this so I don't ruin it and I can append it back just like that okay now I have two of them just in case I only need one showing this back and this one this is my silhouette or shadow box layout Okay, that's the one I'm going to be using for this, not my sculpting layout that I just made. I know I jump around a lot, but really, you know, I'm just showing you really good workflows between uh, tools, and that's all. Here, what I'm going to do is just immediately go into Shadow Box, up the polygon count, and Shadow Box it. Okay, so I get this. Also, what I could do here is make sure my transparency is set. There we go. So for one form, all I do is have to really take this, and that's why I developed this first one, because it really is a good base model to start chopping away at it. And I cloned it, so I can hold Control and Option and just go in here and subtract back on the mesh or that mask right here now I really like the vectorized approach so instead of that I'm going to use the lasso tool I find the lasso tool will be a little bit easier to control sometimes as soon as I get it started here so let's we'll see if that works yep okay so control option And the idea here Oops. is to eliminate all of this. leaving the bottom. Also, you'll know that this is hollow. Okay, So here I'm also going to take and basically cut this out. Now the thing here is you gotta make sure your symmetry is turned on. If you do not have that turned on it will be awfully hard for you to regain symmetry later on. Okay. There we go. There's my bottom jaw. So I can get out of Shadow Box. And now I have this part. I can clone it and hop back into this one and append it in. Okay. So let's do that again. This time we're going to get the other jaw. Okay. Now, what would be faster, redoing all that or undo? Undo. <laughs> so, here we go. This time I'm going to work in reverse. like that and I got to be very careful not to uh, touch the bottom with this one like I just did so let me do that one more time this time 
stay away from the bottom edge because I eliminated it off that plane. Okay, in this case, I have perfect. All right, again, I'm going to clone that one and go back to one of these. And this is what happens when you get too many of these. You juggle around and you're figuring out which one's which. You can rename them pretty easy, but one gets lazy after a while. This one right here. So I'm going to append that top one, which I have to get out of shadow box. There we go. Clone it. And append it. So you can quickly see that, you know, shadow box is your freaking best friend. There's no doubt about it. Because now, making forms is so much easier. So here's this hunk. I got this hunk and I got this hunk. If I turn transparency off, you can see this a little bit better on how it works. Okay. Alright, now all I do is I have to clean up these forms a little bit and get them ready for topology.